Hello, Emmerich's back. Today I'm going to be doing a little uh, bit of custom work to my uh, W204 uh, C350 whereby I'm going to be blacking out this part of the front bumper below, the strut. Basically it gives the car a completely different feel, uh, look and uh, so hopefully, I've seen I've seen it on people on YouTube do it, it's just literally painting this bottom piece black and um, I've seen it in the real life just the other day a, a same uh, model of um, Mercedes white with this black tail and I thought it looked really good I suppose you could, you could do it with various colours and it actually you know blends all this in so you get a completely different uh, look to the car also while I was about it I thought well why have these chrome indicators where I could change those to black as well to give it that more black white theme which would be cool and that's about what I'm going to do I want to do a good job so the first thing to do is prep it and what we're going to do in this part of the vid video is use this uh, this cleaner uh, and uh, see how we get on to degrease it this one's called I it's a isoprophil or whatever I don't know it's a funny name but hey ho there it is there uh, so it's like an alcohol set, alcohol, uh, alcohol um, base cleaner which will just evaporate really quickly and uh, basically I'll clean all the grease and all the muck off first um, and uh, from from here the strut and obviously the part I'm going to paint over there anyway stop mumbling on and get on with it right Right, that's stage one complete. Now, a little bit of 2000 emery paper. I'm gonna go around doing the uh, indicator chrome. Just key that in. It's starting to bubble a little bit, so it'll be ideal to spray it. And uh, also key this up. All right, let's get that job done now. Right, that's the sanding done to make sure the uh, paint keys to it. All I've got to do now is use some more of this alcohol wipe to spray it on to get rid of all that sort of sanding debris. Right, let's do that. Right, I'll start with the uh, this little section of the bumper. So I've got masking tape initially. Right, that's the uh little bit overkill on the prepping maybe but uh, better to be too much and too little I guess and have uh, black paint all over the, the white where I don't want it um, so that's pretty much you know the uh, strut uh, all prepped and the side panels uh, these indicator uh, covers and all I've got to do now is put some bags over the rest of it so I don't get spray all over other parts of the car the excess spray that sprays around anyway let's get that done and I'll be right back Right now for the fun part, primer. I'll give it a good shake, I'll give it a bit more. Stupid me, forgot about the uh, indicator covers. Right, it's been a good 20 minutes and uh, time for second coat of primer. <coughs> right, 
Right, it's another half an hour gone. Um, basically what I'm going to do is uh, put the black, the black pump up. I've had to turn the car around because it's a little bit of a breeze and I don't want my uh, neighbour's car being covered in black paint. He won't like that because it's a silver, grey sort of silver Mercedes himself. Right, that's the first coat, and I've only got to uh, wait around 15 minutes and I'll give it a second coat. I've just got enough paint left for a second coat, albeit a thin coat. But yeah, interesting stuff. What's it going to turn out like? What, what, what have I missed? And it comes out on my white paint where, oh, wait, um, stay tuned. I'll give it another 15, I'll be right back. Well, that's it, I'm out of paint. So that's it done. I'm not buying any more. That's it. Right. Uh, let that dry for 15. No, I'll let it dry for about half an hour. Be right back, and then I'll bring up some clear coat. Catch you in a bit. The good news is it's it's done, and the bad news is I've got no clear coat, and I can't afford not to have the car at the moment. So, unfortunately, I've got to uh, remove everything without the clear coat. But it's not too bad because this is um, this situation is, you know, it's just it's just a strut, and it's not nothing too important bodily wise. It's hardly going to be noticed. It literally looks blanked out anyway, so it's not something. It's only. You know, I suppose to have the clear coat would protect it a little bit, but it's got the primer, two lots of primer, two lots of spray, so it should be should be fine. Anyway, let's uh, start removing and seeing what the finished product looks like. I do a um, uh, a drive down the road. I've done a drive down the road earlier, what it looked like before, and I I drive down the road um, because it look you know you need to see it at a little bit of a distance, and I do another video uh, part of a clip with me driving down so you have the before and after and see what you think. Comment in the comments area, tell me if you think it's worthwhile or not bother. <laughs> I think it's gonna be worthwhile. Anyway, let's check it out. Let's just take this off. This is, this is the best bit, isn't it? Wow, I like it, I really do. Um, I've not done a fantastic job, I mean, I've never done it before and uh, I, there's a few bits that I need to tidy up but um, but all in all, let's take another look, I'm quite happy with it. Yeah. Oh. Wow, let's take that video of it going down the road, see what it looks like at distance and like I say I'll, I'll add that compare clip. Stay tuned.